Hi, welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. This is Dr. O'Connor. Let's take a look at this problem here. Zinc sulfide occurs in the zinc blend crystal structure. So part A asks us if 2.54 grams of zinc sulfide contains 1.7 grams of zinc, what is the mass ratio of zinc to sulfide? Well, in order to find the mass ratio of zinc to sulfide, what we need to do is divide the mass of the zinc by the mass of the sulfide compound. So we have 1.7 grams of zinc, and then we divide that by 2.54 grams of the zinc sulfide. And we end up then with a mass ratio of 0 0.669. Okay, and again, that's zinc to zinc sulfide. So now in part B, we're being asked how many kilograms of zinc are in 3.82 kilograms of zinc sulfide? Well, we, it doesn't matter if we're in grams, kilograms, milligrams. This is the mass ratio. All we need to do is multiply the mass ratio by the mass of the compound. Okay, so here we have 3.82 kilograms of zinc sulfide, and then we just multiply by the ratio. We have 0.669 kilograms of zinc to one kilogram of zinc sulfide. And that's going to give us 2.56 kilograms of zinc. Now, in this next problem, we're told that a compound of iodine and cesium contains 63.94 grams of metal and 61.06 grams of nonmetal. How many grams of cesium are in 38.77 grams of the compound? And they want to know how many grams of iodine are in this compound. Well, first thing that we have to do is determine which is the metal and which is the non-metal? Well, obviously cesium is the metal and iodine is the non-metal. So what we need to do is find the mass of the compound. So the mass of the cesium iodide is going to be equal to the mass of the um, cesium plus the mass of the iodine. And that should be 125 grams of cesium iodide. Okay, so now we're being asked how many grams of cesium are in 38.77 grams of compound. We need to find that mass ratio. And we find the mass ratio by dividing the grams of cesium by the grams of the cesium iodide compound. So that's going to be 63.94 grams divided by 125 grams. And that will give us 0 0.51152. And again, that's cesium to cesium iodide. So now we can determine how many grams of cesium are in 38.77 grams by multiplying the 38.77 grams by the mass ratio. So we have 0.51152, okay, and that would be grams of cesium divided by one gram of cesium iodide. And that's going to give us 19.83 grams of cesium. So now we need to do the same for the iodine. We need to find the mass ratio. And we do that, grams of iodine divided by the grams of cesium iodide, and that would be 61.06 grams divided by 125 grams of cesium iodide. So that mass ratio is going to be 0 0.48848. And again, that's iodine to cesium iodide. And now what we need to do is multiply 38.77 grams by the mass ratio here. So we have 
0.48848 grams of iodine to 1 gram of cesium iodide. And that gives us 18.94 grams of iodine. Okay. Let's go ahead then and check our answer. So we need to add up the grams of iodine and grams of cesium, and we better get 38.77 grams. So 19.83 grams of cesium plus 18.94 grams of the iodine gives us 38.77 grams.